Hi everyone and welcome to I Can Make That. I have a very fun card to show you today. I've got this animation set from Uchi's Design and I picked this up on Black Friday. It comes with dies and stamps and then your animation stamp which is what I really wanted it for although I'm gonna make some fun things with this too. And they give you an animation grid with this as well. So what I started out by doing is I stamped my images. So here's an example of a stamped and colored image. Now one of the things you may want to use to do this is a uh, MISTI or any of the stamp positioning tools. Because you can see this stamp is in two parts. And when I stamped the bottom, in order to get the neck to line up here, I wanted to uh, make sure that it lined up right so I used the tool that I have, which is like a Misty. It's another brand, but, um, and I went ahead and stamped that on. And I made a bunch of them at once. Another thing I recommend because I don't really want to have to line them all up again later. It takes, it took me about two hours to get everything right for this card. Here is how it looks. So when it's all finished, and I thought it was super cute. And so, but it, yeah, it was about two hours to put this together. So I'm going to show you the dimensions and everything and how I did it, make it a little bit faster for you if you want to copy it. Or I'll just use it myself later to uh, look at what I did so I can make it myself faster. So the measurement on this piece of white is uh, three and about three and three eighths by four and three quarters inches. That's for the base and that's going to allow it to slide behind the cutout and have some room but not a lot of room to go back and forth to show the motion on the other side. So after I stamped this image and I colored it in with some Copics, just the few little parts here, I did try stamping this in a brown. It just didn't show up as well behind the grid so I changed to the black and then just colored for contrast. Then what I did is I have my piece that I make that is the top piece for the card. It's this piece here. It's going to be up higher. You can see from the dimensionals that are in here. Okay, this piece here is three and three quarters by five. So to do that, I actually used one of the die. It comes out of the Spellbinders pack. I cut this out. I cut it out high enough that I can fit my ward window punch down below. So when you want to run that through, run it up a little bit higher. And then I have the ward window punch. If you don't own one of these, then you can cut it just with a razor blade or with your paper cutter, but you need some kind of an opening to slide back and forth with the, with the slider. So that's my base piece. I cut the animation grid down just to fit over the outside edge of, of the cutout. And I don't have it going over my word window. Uh, I just try to save a little bit of the extra. I might be able to do something with that. All right, so, so because this stamp is so large, it presented a little bit of a challenge for how I'm going to fit this behind here and still have room to move this back and forth and still be able to attach something in the corners so that this doesn't fall out. So what I ended up doing was I drew a line across so it would be even and I took my square punch and I just came in and cut the edges like this. And then when I go to put this in the card which I have another one here, I did already punched it. I can line this up and I've lined it up as far over as I can go before it goes off the edge and all the way to the bottom here and then I put my dimensional dot here. Now I'm going to slide it the other direction here as far as I want it to go. I'm going to take another dimensional dot and put it right there. This is going to provide a guide to go back and forth without letting it go down off of the card or too far to the left or right when I slide it. 
Now I drew a line across the top and I'm going to do the exact same thing again up here. You won't see this because it's curved. Okay, so now again I'm going to line this up all the way across how I want it to be. And push it over again the other way. Okay, so now I've made myself guides so that this can't go off once I flip this over. At that point, I've got a, now this one is a four by five and a quarter. That'll leave this nice white border over your standard A2 size card. So when I peel off my dots and I flip this over, that would be great. So I will go ahead and do that. Okay, and just holding it all in place, line it up. And there we go. All right, so this should slide just fine. But I wanted to make a cute little slider. So what I did is I just took a piece of my red card stock. I could have used a circle. You could use any shape you want. I used that. And then I had this really cute candy cane stamp that is from a uh, Mama Elephant set. Yep. And my desk is a mess right now, as I'm sure all of yours is as well. It was this set here. So it was um, Merry Mantle. Anyway, they had a little cute candy cane in that. So I went ahead and stamped that with my Memento. I bought the Hero Arts Intense Black 2 recently because I saw that on a bunch of channels. But I'm finding that it just takes longer to dry than my Memento. And it doesn't really smear, but I feel like it's getting my markers a little messed up. So go in, color your little sections here. Okay. And cut that out with my tiny circle. Now... I went ahead and I used ah here we go. I used a stamping up pop dot. They're they're a little bit shallower, and I didn't want it quite as high, so use one of those. And I used a medium size dot that's the same size or height as the other dots underneath. And since not everybody is going to be familiar with these sliders, I went ahead and used my small pen here to write slide. Alright, so when you're all done sticking that down, you can see here it moves. Test it out if you put the pop dots too close and you really have them tight up against the corner, you're going to have a hard time sliding it. You might need to just move your pop dots out just a little bit so that it can wiggle slightly, otherwise it might get caught up. So you want it to move freely. And then you can go ahead and just mount it onto the back. I like to use just the 110 pound cardstock. I can I pick it up at Michael's. Um, it's nice and thick and simple as that the card is done happy holidays I hope you enjoyed it